Hello, I hope you are fine. If not, I pray that the Word of God will bring you some comfort. I have heard from some of my friends here in France that I speak too fast. So, I am going to try to speak slowly. So, if you are a native English speaker and you don't quite get why I am speaking this slowly, I'm sorry about that, but the reason is that these videos are primarily for my friends and some of them are learning English. So today, the Lord wants us to reflect upon what to do before we take a major decision. In the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 3, from verses 13 to 19, what we find is that Jesus takes a very major decision about the choice of the man he was going to uh, make his first disciples and later to be sent out as apostles. When you read this text for the first time, you might think it really doesn't, it's not really very interesting. Why is, G, why is Mark telling us, giving us just a list of 12 men that Jesus is choosing to send out as apostles? So here are three things I think that we can learn from this very important text. The first is that Mark tells us that Jesus chose the men that he wanted. Before you take an important decision, it's important to take a Bible and a paper and write out what you want. It's not always easy to face up to what we want because we may be afraid of being criticized. We might be afraid of no longer being loved by the people we might not choose. We might be afraid of the consequences of our choices. But the truth is, if you want to be really fulfilled in life, you have to own up to what you really want. In many of the miracles that Jesus performed, the first thing that he would tell the people or ask the people is, what do you want? What do you want me to do for you? So child of God, if you also come to Jesus today or you're trying to take an important decision in your life, be clear, first and foremost, with yourself about what you want. Sometimes the reason God delays the answers to our prayers is to be sure that we really know what we want or that we really want what we tell him or what we are telling him that we want. So be clear with yourself what you want. It's important to listen to friends, to listen to people, to consult with experts, but in the end, listen to your heart. What do you really want in the depths of your heart? The second thing I'd like to show to you in this text is that Jesus took out some time to go and pray on the mountain. He took out some time to go and think on the mountain. It's important, child of God, from time to time to take out a time, some time for a retreat, a time to be alone with yourself and with your God, a time to be alone with your conscience, a time to be alone with your thoughts and with the decisions that you want to take. You can't just go on in life listening to all the noise. There is a time to cut out the noise and listen to the beating, the, the way your heart is beating. This is what Jesus did. He took out some time regularly and went to a place, usually on top of the mountain, where no one would disturb him in order to think. So before you take a major decision, take out some time to be alone, to think and to pray. The final thing I'd like to show to you here, child of God, is, that, is the place that Jesus chose to go and pray and to think. On the mountain. Nature has a way of inspiring us. God speaks to us through nature. So if you don't have the habit of doing this, I'm encouraging you to start doing it as from today. Take up some time, you know, now and again to go into nature, just go into a place, uh, into a garden, into, into open air and breathe, think, and pray. I find it striking that Jesus prayed mostly on the mountains, outside. Of course, he went to the synagogue regularly to preach and to listen to God's word, but he took out time regularly to go into nature to pray. Find a time to fall in love with nature, to go and admire mountains and hills and landscapes. Those things have inspired some of the greatest ideas that has come to shape our world. You can learn from that as well. But I might God bless you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.